Hi guys, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the Archie Luxury channel. Today guys, I want to do an unveiling. I'm doing another unveiling. I've bought another watch, but before I discuss the actual purchase and do an unveiling, I want to talk to you about how I paid for it. Now, I've had to keep this secret because there's so many nasty, foul fuckers out there who would ring the solar company actually not the solar company the solar financing company so i want to say a very special thank you to solar 2000 solar 2000 provides interest free finance for solar solar systems in the australian region now i got to tell you honestly I had some problems, okay? I have had a bit of bad credit, namely the lack of um, verifiable income. However, with Solar 2000, that was not a problem. Now, basically what I've done is I've put a solar system. This is an energy efficient, uh, it's basically a power plant on my roof, okay? And what I've done is because I no longer own these premises, no, I am uh, in a divorce deal, I actually agreed to, um, I signed over the equity in a swap combo deal, which gave me a, uh, a rent-free uh, residence until the end of 2020. December 31st, 2020 is when my time here expires. So what I did is I used, um, I, I, but what I've done is I have put solar on here. And instead of actually using uh, my, well, actually, I okay, what I've done is I've financed the solar with Solar 2000. Uh, it basically is, is neutral repayments because it's an interest-free loan plus uh, I save on the power bills. So uh, let's go and have a look at the system and we'll discuss how I've financed it. Go around to the front of my house here. All the solar work has been completed. I've got two panels here. The PV, um, now that's from the Latin, the Latin, which is uh, Plutus Venus, which means Pluto has free power. So that's what that is. So let's have a look inside. So what we've done is here, we've, uh, we've got the new solar, solar box, but the gimmick tree is in this ABB system here. This is one of the top of the line systems. And uh, it basically, it, uh, if we have a look at my solar system here, you can see that it's saying we are, well, actually, can you see the fucking thing? Let's have a look. Can you see it or not? Can you see it? Connected. And we are producing, we are producing power to the grid. We're producing, so that means we are getting free, free power, free power, fucking thing. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the back. So this is the, that's the system. That's the, the that's the, the, the human interface. Uh, now let's go and have a look at the back of the house and we can see where the solar grid has come in. So the way I've financed these things here is, the way I've done it is, I'm using different alternatives to fund my wristwatches. And uh, what I've decided to do is I'm growing a lot of vegetables myself and I'm raising my own protein. Let's have a look here. We're going to take a look into my back garden and you can see I've got my own vegetables growing here. Yes, they're growing. Look at this. I've got my own vegetables growing here. I've got my own sunflower for sunflower oil. I hope to, to kickstart. I've got strawberries. I've got everything is happening here. And I've deliberately not mowed the grass so that the bees will come in, pollinate, and I can also harvest the honey. So it's one big money earning machine here. Now let's go and have a look at my roof. My roof, you can see solar panels, solar panels. That there is what's bringing in the bucks bringing in the bucks so that is my roof full of solar producing panels and i've also what else i've done is i've gone for the hot water system which was leaking and i've gone and i've 
gone solar i've gone solar and the new system here is working well yep she's working well it's got a pump there so basically this system here pumps water up to the roof where it is heated free of charge this is my protein station one these are my worms the wormies the wormies that's right that's protein station number one i've got juice which i sell i've got all of this stuff is what helps me buy luxury wristwatches luxury wristwatches they're expensive so uh what i've done is the solar system <coughs> the solar system was about fifteen thousand dollars you get some government grants the beauty of living in a socialist country is that they like to spend fat cat salaries here so i've uh i got a rebate a couple thousand dollar rebate and uh what happens is i um i've actually that rebate let me just switch angles what i've done is that rebate i've used to reduce the amount to finance so uh i've financed about thirteen thousand aussie dollars and what i've done is i've said to the landlord hey i want to get solar i want to make this investment and they've coughed up the dough they said you give send us the invoice through and we'll reimburse your arch <clears throat> now what i've done is instead of actually paying out the solar system i financed it through solar 2000 which provides interest-free loans for solar systems so i've got a uh, a five-year loan interest-free so it's, it's 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 cost me nothing and uh i've actually given the invoice to the landlord the landlord being my ex-wife and she has given me the cash the cash has hit my account. I didn't want to say anything until the cash has hit my account. And uh, because some of these nasty fuckers out there, they will ring up the solar financing company, Solar 2000, and dob me in. And uh, they'll put a kibosh into the works because they're jealous. They're real jealous fuckers. So, um, yeah, that's how, that's how solar energy pays for my my wristwatch collection so um uh, there you go guys that's uh so that's uh thirteen thousand dollars i've got to spend what do you think you're going to buy what sort of piece do you think it is you tell me um tell me what you think tell me what you think and uh guys guys i got another unboxing coming up so uh guys i don't know what to say there it's all good with solar fuckers Hi guys, this is Glenn from Regal. How are you doing this morning? I got a couple of ideas that might interest you. We um, import truck tires from Asia. We sell 1124s, 1122s, 150 bucks uh, in a container load, of course, in a container load. Shipping is free. If you've ever thought of reselling truck tires, you can kind of, uh, if whatever city you're in, people need truck tires. You could buy one container and resell it and make yourself some passive income. I can't say if you'll make it doing it, if you want, but the average guy that resells for us makes around fifteen dollars to $18,000 on one container, and you can normally sell a container in two, three weeks. Um, the other thing is if you need less than, uh, you know, container load, like eight tires, ten tires, you can go to our websites. Uh, www.newtrucktires2yourdoor.com www.newtrucktires2yourdoor.com and you can just place your order there. We uh, would like to get more resellers in the United States so if you're interested it's a great way to make a, a, a living. But as I say uh, the disclaimer is I, I, I can't say what you're going to do that's that's up to you whatever effort you put in but we do assist with advertising we do help and uh, we care about our customers and we care about you being successful. Uh, of course, not everybody resells. They buy tires for the fleets and save a lot of money. Um, but on the website, all the prices are there. You're welcome to just browse through it and look at it. And if you have any questions, call me. Uh, my number is 602-513-9896. Call me anytime, you're very welcome. 
I don't care what time of day or night it is, you're welcome to call me anytime. This, so Glenn is my name. So remember that. And if you need anything, give me a call. Thanks. I'm only signing it because it costs nothing. <laughs> So this is the congratulations to everybody. Okay, that's the answer I am, okay? You know, what happened was, you people there, I was it, you, my Japanese booking, you cancel it the day before. Very beautiful. Very nice stuff, you know. Very nice stuff. You cancel the booking, and then what you do is you give me a $1,300 travel credit. Okay? Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay? That's good, right? Now, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's because you asked it up. That's because it's called good customer service. Because if you didn't give me the travel credit, I'd be angry. Okay? Angry, angry, angry. So you gave me a credit and I used, I foolishly didn't read your fine print which said that it's a one use only. You can only use this voucher once. So I went to Sydney. I stayed at a cheap place, cheap and nasty place. I stayed there, it was $150 because I'm frugal. I'm a frugal guy. And then I wanted to book some accommodation for my family. And guess what? My voucher's no longer there. Now, that's my mistake. I made a mistake, sure. I'm asking you to fix it up. I'm asking you to give me my $1,000, whatever's left of my voucher back. And that's what I'm asking you guys to do. I made a mistake. I forgave you when you cancelled my booking at the last damn minute. Okay, I forgave you guys, right? But... I made a small mistake, and I want you to fix it up for me, and you read me the riot act. You tell me these rules and regulations. Well, that's not acceptable. That is not acceptable. I'm a YouTube influencer. I got 50 million views, right? 50 million views, and I'm going to scream my ass off on YouTube saying, Airbnb disaster. Airbnb disaster. So you go and tell your execs in America... You, when they ask you, why did this guy get so angry? You can tell them, okay? You can tell them. That's what you can do, okay? You can tell them why he got so angry. Because he rang you people up and you people acted like jerks. Okay? That's what happened. That's what happened. So I want you to fix it up now. I want it fixed up now. Now, 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 now. That's why I want it fixed up now. Not tomorrow. I don't need it passed around. I want it fixed up now. Okay? That's what I want. Yeah. I want my $900 credit back so I can book well, whatever whatever there it is and I want it fixed up now. Okay? That's what that's what has to be done. I shouldn't have to get angry, aggressive to try and get my money back. I made a mistake. I forgave you when you stuffed up the Japanese thing. Oh, that's okay. No problems. Well, sunshine, it's a two-way street. Customer service is a two-way street. And I'm asking you for help now.